check it out. Somebody's been getting their bootleg on down at the faux trail. Yeah. Found it under the pine straw. Still has a little bit left in it down there. Alright, what's up party people? Back with another video today. So I'm not going to really be doing much trail riding other than the warm-up section to the south section of this trail, which uh, exists a purpose-built flow trail. And so what I'm going to do is kind of compare and contrast what even is a flow trail, why you should ride one, and what's the difference between a flow trail a flowy trail and a pump track. I think there's definitely a progression and also there's some, some techniques I think uh, that help you maintain flow on a flow trail. Um, obviously pumping being one of those but you really need to know where and what to pump dig right into it once we get to the flow trail. So I'll see you there. All right, so uh, let's kind of tackle the obvious one first. What's the difference between a flow trail and a flow e-trail? So all trails can have flowy sections, meaning there is a rhythm to the trail and that can be flowy section or the whole trail can be flowy. I think, uh, you know, it's a well proportion that makes a trail flowy, meaning there is enough momentum during the ride in order to mostly propel you up any of the, uh, the climbs and there's sufficient rollers slash berms to pump that to make the trail overall fun and fun to ride. Most of the time when I go do a skills practice, I'm on a flowy trail because most of the trails around here are flowy except for some of the bandit trails around here. Flow trails are generally purpose built. So this is a flow trail and uh, typically it will be a combination of rollers, berms, it is usually gravity fed, meaning it will go downhill and you'll have to climb and pedal back uphill, which uh, on this particular flow trail, there's a return double track here that, uh, that exists from the bottom. And I'm out here a bit early today. I only saw a few riders in the parking lot, so I don't think there'd be that many people on this flow trail. So I'm gonna try to walk it and kind of explain. But back to the features we talked about, um, you got a series of rollers that exist here and you know these serve a purpose of really getting your momentum going so sometimes they can actually serve the purpose of slowing you down a bit and typically there's you know professional trail builders that build these types of trails so they kind of ride the trails themselves so they understand about how much speed and momentum you need to carry through the trail in order to clear uh, the jumps and have the most fun so um, at the entrance of this trail you get a a roller that exists in the beginning here and you can pump the back side of this one and as well as pump the back side of this roller here then you kind of got a roller with a berm built in here so this is kind of a banked berm and then you roll into another berm here and you can see uh, they've got drainage in place as well and so this is very specifically built in order to get you pumping momentum and this is a downhill here it's probably you can't probably really see this with the GoPro effect but if you look back up there that's uphill um, so you're going to carry momentum you're going to be pumping along these lines you'll pump these berms and be ready for your first jump now you could possibly carry enough speed and momentum and you could uh, pop off of this here as if it was kind of a tabletop jump but in reality this roller here 
uh, is setting you up to actually take the momentum that you've gained from the gravity fed upper portion get you a good pump off the back side of this roller and set you up for this first jump now this first jump if you look at it from the side here it's a tabletop but it's one of those tabletops with the uh, with the higher slope on the uh, on the approach and somewhat of an even slope on the, the landing here so you need to carry enough speed and momentum to propel you up and forward over that which will and again we are continuously going downhill here it may not be obvious on this uh, this GoPro here but um, we're continually going down and this berm here serves another purpose if you have too much speed uh, coming off of that jump and pumping the berm you could slow yourself down potentially if you don't have enough speed you could actually pump off the back side of the jump and pump into that berm and sets you up for this particular jump here which is another one of those tabletops with the uh, with the hump on the on the front slope and hump on the back slope I don't know what they technically you call those but I'll probably get a better view of it from here so that tabletop jump will spit you out into a long sweeping berm here so anytime you see a succession of uh, continuous rollers like this right generally they're trying to signal to you something's going to appear on the trail and so on this left hand uh, sweeping berm here we have a more of a longer sloping roller which is setting you up for another jump here again this is the other tabletop and this one is kind of tricky and what I found is is that it tends to want to spit you off toward this tree um, so when I hit this but you can see the angle you're coming at you're coming kind of straight like this so really if you had the skills it would be a very good jump to actually kind of position yourself in the air uh, and, and, and get turned facing this way more or set yourself up what I found is the inside of this jump actually has a better lip than the outside of the jump and that's probably just from the fact that most people probably hit the outside because it's the natural line over there but if you hit the inside here um, it actually has a better lip and then you have a series of rollers this jump has a bigger indent in the inside so if you case it there's probably a little bit more consequence but uh, it's almost a step up jump kind of because the I don't know if you can tell on the camera here but the landing slope is actually higher than the takeoff and so in reality it doesn't take that much speed to actually clear this jump it looks uh, intimidating from the other side but it's not and then more rollers here setting yourself up for the next jump which this one's an even bigger consequence tabletop what they're doing now is kind of setting you up for the end here this is a series of rollers and you can really pack, practice your pump skills on this series of rollers here. Um, exaggerate the heck out of it. So stand tall as you're going over it. Pump down into the backside. Stand tall as you go over it. Pump down in the backside. And it's just super fun to come through here. And even if you have low amount of speed you can pick up a significant amount of speed if you pump all of these correctly. And this kind of spits you out into a final berm here. This you can see here we have a return to the top on the double track here. So that's a flow trail, purpose built. And uh, we'll uh, go over to a pump track and I'll show you the difference. You'll be able to tell right away. You can probably tell by the way I'm breathing right now. That I am walking back uphill. So that's the other thing you need to take into consideration. When you come out to do a session on one of these trails, 
you know, it's not like a bike part. You get to the bottom, you got to climb back to the top. So plan on that being part of your session. Plan for hydration. Plan for mosquitoes around here as well. So, all right, let's get over to the pump track. We're at a pump track. So uh, let's go take a look and uh, we'll talk about some of the differences between the flow trail that we just came off of, a flowy trail, and a pump track. All right, one of the things you'll notice, minimize pedaling, minimize braking, minimize skidding. Body should be upright when you approach the roller, push down as you go over the roller, practice the fluid motion. Do not block if you are waiting to ride track. So one thing I'll say, usually these types of pump tracks and other obstacles are either located near the trailhead of a trail or they can be in the skills area. And uh, this one's actually in the skills area. And the entrance is off of one of the loops. And so, you know, proper etiquette here is to make sure you're not blocking traffic. And, uh, you know, pump tracks usually have, a, they're usually directional. There's usually a way that most everybody goes, but uh, it's not always abided by. But uh, the one thing you'll notice here is that this is the entrance to the pump track. If you look about this pump track on a plane, a horizontal plane, it's basically flat whereas the flow trail was actually gravity fed and so the entrance was higher than the exit and you were mostly going downhill the full time whereas on the pump track the idea here is you come in and you boost these rollers by making yourself light on the front side and pumping down on the back side right um, and that can be pumping the front down first and then the back down and then kind of bringing the, the bike up and over the roller. Now one thing you'll notice is, is that it looks fairly similar to a flow trail. Um, it is purpose built. There's usually some drainage mechanisms that help relieve water and mosquito pits. It has berms just like flow trail and it has a series of rollers that you can pump to either maintain build momentum or even slow yourself down too as well um, however the main difference is the flow trail is actually gravity fed and it's more of the downhill nature whereas the pump track is actually on a flat horizontal plane usually not all the time but usually so the other thing i'll mention too is is that it when i said earlier it's a progression i would progress starting at a pump rack first learn how to pump and that will help that technique will help you out immensely on a flow trail because on the flow trail you need to be able to increase gain momentum through the trail in order to clear most of the jumps and uh, that's what makes it a fun flow trail. Typically, on a pump track and on a flow trail, there's a rhythm through the whole trail, meaning that once you get into that rhythm of making yourself light and pumping on the backside, pumping the berms, um, there's a very noticeable rhythm. And uh, good riders, they will look very smooth on a, on a flow trail and a pump track. So the biggest difference really is for a flow trail, it's kind of purpose built on a downhill plane, and that gives you speed, uh, more momentum in combination with pumping. You can clear larger obstacles. There's usually larger jumps in a flow trail. I hope that kind of helps the beginner folks. I know this is not, if you're an experienced rider, you're not gonna learn anything. Yeah, so start at a pump track, learn how to pump, and then you can apply that to flowy sections of the trail. Hope that helps kind of explain the main difference between flowy section or flow e trail versus a flow trail versus a pump track progression and progression order that you should probably practice those in. 
I am headed back out to the van on my way home. I would like to say for all the folks that continue watching the videos, I really appreciate the comments and uh, the likes, the dislikes, whatever it may be. I also like to say in the coming weeks, the content will be a little bit different. Um, those of you that saw my my video about my father and uh, him losing a majority of his eyesight, we one of the reasons I built the van is we're going to take a cross-country trip here starting in late June, and that will be less bike content and more content on the. Uh, the good times that me and my dad will have traveling across the country and it's going to be Bill and Scott's excellent adventures so I hope you will follow along and stay tuned there will be more mountain bike content coming after our trip and I hopefully I can scout out some uh, some must ride trails while I'm out and about as well so yeah if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, it'd be awesome if you did. It'd really help me out a lot. Comment down below if you have some ideas about what makes the difference between flowy trail, flow trail, pump track, and how you ride them, and even what are some of your favorite trails that have all of these. Click that post notification bell to get notified of all the new uploads this channel till next time you know what to do just get up and ride then up and go